everybody welcome to my channel my name is Mai and today I decided to build a kind of Mediterranean themed house um, I live in the northern hemisphere so I am surrounded by fall and cold and um, as much as I love it it is my favorite season I just felt like I needed something to make me feel warmer and um, you know a little bit of sun <laughs> I guess and so I decided to build this a little kind of vacation home or I don't know maybe uh, the way that I ended up furnishing this is for uh, a grandparent or a couple of grandparents that um, kind of retired out here um, but of course it works as a vacation home um, I'm building in the world of Tartosa which is the world that came with um, the my wedding stories game pack probably the only redeeming quality of that game pack um, until of course they actually fix the gameplay features um, but it is a really nice world it's probably one of my favorite worlds um, it just feels very like lush and bright and um, I don't know it's just like really nice to to build in and to play in and um, the lighting is also really nice which for builders you know how nice that is and um, and yeah here I am just slowly finishing the exterior it uh, ends up having two bedrooms and one bathroom and um, and yeah I tried to keep it a little bit on the smaller side I didn't want it to be overwhelming especially after the 1989 townhouse um, I felt like I needed just something smaller something cozier and um, and I think I managed to do that with this I uh, it has the two balconies um, looking out onto that lovely lovely water and um, and yeah it's just it's a really cute warm happy build and as you can see i put the stairs on the outside of the build which i feel like is quite common um in this kind of style of house and since i kept the exterior or the interior uh a little bit smaller it also kind of helps to um to have like that giant feature <laughs> on the outside and i think it also just kind of has a cool touch um and and yeah i the color scheme uh, came together kind of nice. I chose kind of like that warmer brown and kind of tried to cut it up with a little bit of gray and blue to kind of match the environment. And uh, here we are slowly already starting on the interior. Um, I apologize if some of the footage is kind of laggy. I'm still figuring out how to record everything in um, optimal conditions. And so sometimes the footage just doesn't turn out as great. So I had to cut out a lot of things and um but no the the interior is uh yeah it's coming together just working on the back windows i usually do like the facade windows and then as i start building the interior i add more windows you know while i see where i'm gonna put the counters and the sink and the tv and whatever so um, i didn't really want the back door to be perfectly aligned with the front door i wanted it to kind of you know be more inviting to like stay in the house not just like you walk in through the door and there's another door so that did kind of complicate the windows in the back but um in the end i i figured it out they're not perfectly symmetrical um or like spaced um but like evenly spaced but i think it turns out fine and um and yeah i went with this uh brown tile which is from base game the color is actually um part of it was part of an update uh, a little while ago and I'm obsessed with it right now. I think it works in so many different styles and um, it works perfectly in this build. Um, you just, I don't know, even though it's tile, the brown color just makes it a little warmer. And um, I ended up using a lot of, uh, I tried to, to keep it like pretty minimal with packs. There are some things that maybe I like used one clutter item from one pack, um, but mostly I kept it to my wedding stories, jungle adventure and base game. Um, I think I also might have used a couple of book nook items, just the horse ranch and uh, growing together, but um, I did try to, to contain myself. Um, since it is a smaller build, I think it's easier to do. Um, here is the lag that I was kind of talking about. It uh, kind of drives me crazy. I'm really sad, especially for the kitchen. Kitchen is like my favorite room to furnish um, and to not really have that footage be perfect just makes me really sad um but give it time and i'm sure i'll <laughs> figure it out soon um and i'm really glad i made the cabinets be a different color than the counters um you'll see me change them later um or i guess you'll see it in the screenshots uh 
I like doing that to kind of cut up the kitchen so it's not super monotone. Um, and here actually is where I figured out that I wanted to furnish it for a couple of grandparents. Um, I always have a hard time with curtains and so when I found these curtains that just like felt right in this space and they have kind of like that granny vibe, I decided to go with it and just fully furnish it for, for maybe an older couple that has some grandkids that come and visit sometimes. And um, here I had a hard time uh, with the coffee table and just like the living room, mostly just like the surfaces of the living room were giving me a hard time and I don't know why. Um, but I do end up, instead of using a coffee table, I end up putting in an ottoman that I think it's, I think it's the ottoman that comes with, um, my lawn, with a laundry day, um, which you'll see in a bit. There it is. I put some clutter on it to try and, um, you know, make it look like it's actually a coffee table. And, um, and I think it turns out like it, it, it like works a lot nicer. Um, I don't know why it just feels like it works. And when I found that that bin of like vinyls, I decided to put in uh, this like record player um, in the corner instead of the TV. And then I actually put the TV more in the center. I didn't want this to be like a, you know, furniture faced at the TV kind of family. But um, when I wanted to add the record player, I just went with it. Um, and there's also a little office nook and um, those dining chairs. The, the chairs also came in like a, a free update once upon a time. And um and yeah, they're also really nice. They have really nice flower details that I just adore. And uh, here we're slowly moving on to the upstairs. Um, this is going to be like the master bedroom. And um, I gave it kind of a pink theme um, with flowers. That bed is from the horse ranch uh, pack. And um, I don't know, I just, it feels so nice. And since I decided to go with like the grandparent um, vibe of this, I just felt like it really fit to put in, um, yeah, that comforter. It just really worked. And I made this walk-in closet, um, kind of walk-in. It's technically not functional. Um, it's mostly there for decoration, so I do end up putting a dresser somewhere else. Um, a lot of that footage is really laggy, so I wasn't able to keep it in. Um, but the closet style itself, I based off of um, what my grandma's closet looked like. Um, Back in the day and uh, I just felt like you know in this kind of house um, that that closet would work really nice and here's the kids room um, I kept it really simple like not a too much personality um, because again it's kind of like oh they just come and visit every so often they're not here full-time I mean maybe the way you play it they are here full-time um, but I just felt like you know just keep it minimal like the grandparents decorated it and um, and, you know, it's just like inviting and a place for them to play. Although, honestly, if I, if my grandparents lived next to the water like this, I would spend no time in the bedroom. I would be playing in the water all day or at least just sitting on the balcony and looking at that view. Um, it's phenomenal. And uh, I put in this toy box from Growing Together, which just felt so right um, to have like the little, you know, kind of dated looking uh, rustic toy box. It, it felt really perfect in that space and um, now I'm working on landscaping I guess um, the canopy um, covering it in plants to kind of create that shade on top I didn't include uh, the furnishing of the bathroom it um, yeah it was also really laggy but I mean it's just a bathroom it's not that interesting anyways so um, I didn't think anybody would mind and I put in that girl from horse ranch which I think is so perfect I think it really I don't know, I really like that grill because I, I mean, I grew up with both electric grills and kind of more, I guess, open grills and um, it's kind of nice that they added that style. I think I like adding it into my builds way more than I like adding the electric looking grill. Um, but yeah, the, the downstairs I kept also really simple. It's just like, you know, it's where you eat with your friends, it's where you just um, stare at the water and... Um, I think it's, you know, it's nice. I didn't add too much hobby stuff or clutter. It's more just like a social space. And I like that I added a lot of seating here at the front. I feel like I see this, I've seen this in like more Mediterranean uh, countries and um, Mediterranean influenced countries that there's always seats at the front porch so people can sit and kind of people watch, which is just 
I love it. I love it. I think it's such a fun, like, reference, um, <laughs> I don't know, that I got to add, which I know that technically this house is really isolated, so it would be kind of useless. Um, but the sitting on the front porch and just watching your neighbors walk by, I don't know, it just, it feels very close to home for me. And, um, and yeah, I, the outside came together pretty fast and I started working on more, um, adding more hobby stuff and, uh, kind of bringing that outside hobby stuff inside. And I had recorded a lot of the landscaping, but, uh, for some reason, a lot of it kind of lagged and got lost. So, um, I just added like the last few touches of the landscaping. Um, the, I used those trees are actually from the debug menu. They're the trees that are actually in the world. And here you can see the finished product um, with those trees that kind of help it blend into its surroundings. And that lavender just out on the back. Um, this is the front, the facade. You've got those chairs and some outdoor lights um, to kind of bring you in. I just really love the way that lavender looks. I can just imagine one of the grandparents loving lavender and the other one just deciding to plant it all over the lot. And here is when you walk in, there's a little seat, um, a little chair, uh, just to kind of, I guess, put your shoes on, it uh, could be. Um, I felt like seats were very important in this house. When you're, when you're maybe elderly, you need a lot of seats for when you get tired. Um, here's the living room. I put up a lot of art. Um, I felt like one of the, one of the residents of the house really likes art and painting. There's the kitchen with the two-toned cabinet counter combo um, with just some clutter on the counters. Just, I, this kitchen also, I love how narrow it is for some reason. That also just feels really close to home. And here we have just the outside with the lounge chairs and some more outdoor lights and candles to keep the mosquitoes away. Um, just a little gardening corner here at the top balcony. This painting corner. I'm jealous. Imagine standing there and painting that view. I I would never leave. <laughs> and with the canopy over top, it's just perfect. And here's the bathroom. Pretty simple. Just a bathroom with some clutter and a bathtub and uh, some toys over there for when the grandkids come to visit. And the kids' room. Also, I added some art in here and rugs. Um, I think it's, it's cool that it has kind of like the kids art with also canvases for the grandparents art and here's the grandparents room I put up those two photos that are from base game just feeling like you know maybe those are the grandparents that live here and um, or it could even be their kids who knows anyways that brings us to the end of the build bye buds and thanks so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos comment and share with your friends I'll talk to y'all soon bye